Okay, so the first thing that we're going to do is log in. So I'm going to type my username and password in. Down the side here, you'll see that your portfolio is organized a little bit like a file. So you've got your front page, your plans, evidence, feedback and history. And this is basically how you're going to navigate your way through your portfolio. It isn't like a normal internet browser. So there is no back button. You navigate your way through using the tabs. So if I just click on some of these tabs, I'm on the front page at the moment. I can click on plans and you'll see that's got a yellow background. And I've got some of my plans in there, which we're going to look at in a minute. My evidence is green and I've got all my different pieces of evidence in there. One of the important buttons to have a look at at the top here is the resources button. In here, we've got a list of all the different resources that you can use for your qualification. Now, one of the things to make sure here is that you are using the right units as this resources section contains every unit for all of our qualifications so you need to make sure that if you're doing health and social care you're looking at health and social care units if you're doing supporting teaching and learning you're looking at the correct units and in here you'll notice that these are doc files some of our other files are docx if you've got an older version of Microsoft Word or if you're using OpenOffice or something different, you might have trouble opening docx files or you might be able to open them and the formatting, for example, the tables and things like that um, might look a bit peculiar. So if you're having those kind of problems, it's, made, it's usually because uh, you've got an older version of Microsoft Word. So if that's the case, please come into the resources section and use these files instead of the ones that are attached to your plans. But I will show you this in a second. OK, so that's the resources tab. I want to go back to my portfolio now. So I'm going to click over here. And it will take me back to my front page. We're going to have a look at how to start uploading evidence. The first thing that we need to do is go into our plans. You'll see down here we've got a section which says items for your attention. And under here will be anything that you need to do. So if you like, it's your to-do list. If you've submitted work, it'll have feedback in here. If you've got things that need action, they'll be in there too. So use that as your guide. So at the moment, I can see that my assessor has uploaded all my plans for all my units that I'm going to complete. So I can either click on one of these plans or I can click on the plans tab at the side. Either way, I'll see the same thing. So I'm going to click on the plan at the side. And this is showing me all the different plans that I've got for my units. The first one that I'm going to look at if you can see here, we've got your skills scan. So obviously, you've just done that on your uh, first time login. We're going to have a proper go at that now. So I'm going to click where it says skills scan. At the moment, it says that it's proposed. So by clicking that, it will take me to the plan. And what we mean by plan, this is where you're um, having a look and it's going to tell you what you need to do for this unit or this piece of evidence. So it's telling me here a little bit of information about the skill scan. So I'll read through that. And then you can see here that you've got a document attached to it. So when I said earlier about doc files and docx files, any files attached to your plans are docx files. With a newer version of Microsoft Word, you'll be fine with these. Most of them are absolutely fine. It's just sometimes the formatting gets a bit shaken up if you've got an older version. And down here, we can see that we've got a section called evidence required for this plan. And in here, I've got evidence number 11. And this is telling me that um, the evidence type is going to be my skill scan in here. So the first thing that I need to do with my plan, I need to accept it. It's a general rule of eCordia that if something isn't happening how you're expecting it to happen, it's because there's an accept button somewhere that you need to click on. 
It's basically just a way of confirming that you have read something rather than you've just visited the page by accident or however you might have visited it. Um, it's just telling the system that, yes, I've read this plan. I've downloaded any evidence that I need to. And now I'm ready to start. So I'm going to go in here and I'm going to click on accept. So now that I've accepted my plan, I'm going to go either into the Word document here attached to the plan or I'm going to go into that resources section that I showed you before and download the appropriate unit. So if I click on my skill scan now, and open the file, you'll see that this is the document that you were sent in your welcome email. And hopefully, um, your version will be filled out. This is just a blank version, so obviously it hasn't got anything in there. Um, but what I can do now is save this to my own system. So I'd go through and I would save it as and then whatever I wanted to save it as. I won't do that now. And then I can work on that in my own time. And once it's completed, I'll be ready to upload it. So when I've completed that document, I'll come back into this section. So I'll probably have logged out at that point. I'll log in again. Um, and then I'll come back to the plans tab, find my skills scan plan. And I'm going to go down here into the section where it says evidence required for this plan. And I'm going to click on that piece of evidence. And now I'm taken to my green tab. So I can also access this by clicking here and finding evidence number 11. What I want to do now is to put the Word document that I've completed into this section so that I can submit it to my assessor. So I need to click on prepare attachments. And it will take me to this section where I can simply browse my own computer. I'll find a document to attach. And I'm going to add attachments. You'll see at that point that a really big word icon appears there. You need to make sure that that's appeared, otherwise nothing will be attached to this. Um, and then I can click done. If I want to, I can put another attachment in there. It's um, You can have as many as you want in this section. You can put Word documents, you can put um, ODT documents, which are from Open Office. You can put anything from Apple as well. It, the system will support any kind of uploads. So once I've done that, I'm going to click done. And it'll take me back to my green evidence tab. And this time when I scroll down, I'll be able to see a really large icon here that shows me that I've got a piece of evidence in there. So the next thing I need to do now is submit it to my assessor for assessment. So I'm going to click this button down here, submit now for assessment. Just asking me to check. Yes, I do. And it's going to take me to a reference list. Now, this section is your bibliography. I'm going to type in here anything that you've used to complete your evidence. So if you've visited websites, if you've used books, they all need to go in here. So I'm just going to type in a website that I've visited. I might type in the name of a book and the author. pop another website in there and once I've typed in all my references you don't at this stage it's probably important to note as well that you don't need to worry about Harvard referencing or any other kind of referencing systems we just want to know what you've used to complete it if you put something down in this section like internet or websites or 
teaching assistants books we might get a little bit suspicious you do need to put down um the actual things that you visited and where you found that information from and then in this section here we've got the time taken so this is a really rough idea of how long you think it's taken you to complete that piece of evidence that you've attached now because it was my skill scan took me quite a while so i'm going to put that that took me two hours to complete and the final button that I need to make sure that I'm going to click is submit. And that will now be sent across to my assessor to mark the work. And what I can see here, just to check that it has gone for assessment, if you look in the status here, it says presented. And over here in this yellow box, it says this evidence is waiting for assessment. So you can use this yellow box um, to find out what's happening. Sometimes um, people forget to submit things for assessment and you can see that here that this piece is waiting so I know that I have submitted it. Okay so through the magic of the internet um, I have managed to submit my work and my assessor has marked it already. So what we're going to have a look at now is how to accept your feedback and we're going to see how the progress works um, and your bar go up hopefully. So what we can see down here, I've now, in items for my attention, because my work that I submitted has been marked, I've now got something that says feedback given. So I can click on the feedback. And let's see what I got. So I've scrolled down and I've got feedback date, who gave me the feedback, and then what they've got to say. And most importantly, I've got over here my assessment decision and it's complete, which means I can breathe a big sigh of relief that I've finished everything. You may at this point, it may not say complete there. It may say action required. If it does say action required, usually in this feedback section, you'll have um, some pointers and some guidance as to how you can improve your work or how you can make sure that you've meet or met all the assessment criteria. Um, if that's the case, you go through the whole process again. So we would accept that feedback, which is what we're going to do now. And then you would uh, make the amendments to your original document. And then you can upload that again, submit it just like you did before. OK, but I'm really happy with this. So just to say that I've read it, I'm going to click on the accept button down here. And it will take me back. I'm waiting while my progress is updated. So now when I go to my front page, so it's, I've come back to my front page now and I can see that I have made 2% progress. Now, unfortunately, when you complete your skills scan, you won't make any progress because it's not linked to any assessment criteria. Um, the only things that are linked to assessment criteria are your units and they're pre-linked, so you don't need to worry about it you will automatically when you've completed a unit your progress bar will automatically go up so you don't need to worry about the assessment criteria um, but i have pre-linked my skill scan so i've now got two percent and again unfortunately it would appear that two percent isn't enough to show you a green bar here but um should my percentage go a little bit further up it will start displaying green there so we've now looked at the basics of eCordia. We've looked at accepting plans, uploading work, submitting work for assessment and accepting your feedback. And that is more or less all you need to know at this stage. Um, we have another video that is covering your mentor, if you have one, and um, how you can share evidence with your mentor. Thank you.